Welcome to the third video of the NDR Manager's video series. For important information about your role, responsibilities, and resources, please watch videos 1 and 2 before watching this one. Here, we'll cover how to secure neutrals for ADR service requests and how to build a roster of neutrals for your local workplace NDR program. As an NDR manager, you have the important role of ensuring mediators and other neutrals meet high ethical standards and provide consistent quality ADR services. So, let's begin by talking about how you can access neutrals who are already certified. Many of you will have inherited a roster of neutrals who serve at your installation. But if not, there are other avenues available to secure the support of neutrals for your program. First, if you've watched previous videos in this series, you're familiar with the DAF Mediator Community Microsoft Teams page. On the Mediator Roster and Certification channel, select the Roster tab and you'll find contact information for every certified mediator across the DAF. You're welcome to reach out to any of them and request their virtual assistance. Second, you can email SAF GCR to request a contract mediator. To do so, submit the mediator request form to the SAF GCR workflow at saf.gcr.workflow at us.af.mil. This form is in the Files tab of the Mediator Roster and Certification channel. Finally, you can contact your local Federal Executive Board if you have one near your installation, or access the DoD Roster of Neutrals at doha.ogc.osd.mil backslash alternative dash dispute dash resolution dash program. A complicated situation, or one involving a high-ranking official, may call for a more experienced mediator with advanced or expert-level certification. For information on certification levels, see the Mediator Certification Program Guide in the Files tab of the Mediator Roster and Certification channel and follow up with SAF GCR about any concerns. If you've determined that your installation could benefit from access to additional neutrals, it's time to consider recruiting apprentices. As you think about recruiting, consider your program's needs. Do the current neutrals on your roster have the time available for ADR cases? Do you have a balance of backgrounds, types of expertise, job roles, and a good representation of the population you serve? Is the number of neutrals on your roster sufficient? If the number of ADR requests for EO complaints or grievances is low, early intervention is an equally important factor when assessing your program needs. Finally, account for special circumstances, such as conflicts of interest that may prevent some neutrals from mediating certain cases. You can encourage airmen and guardians to join the local roster by promoting the benefits of becoming a mediator, which are listed in Part 3 of the NDR Manager's Workplace Mediation Process Guide. As you talk with potential apprentice mediators, consider selecting individuals who successfully manage conflict, have good communication skills, and are highly respected in the workplace. Once you've identified volunteers, there are specific steps towards becoming a certified mediator. First, volunteers must complete a basic mediation course, like the ones offered by Air University or the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute, or DOMI. After training, a new mediator must co-mediate a minimum of three cases with an experienced mediator who evaluates and recommends the new mediator for certification. Finally, a certification package is submitted by the mediator and approved by SAF GCR before the mediator is considered certified. In accordance with ethical standards in DAFI 51-1201, mediators must be certified by SAF GCR to mediate on their own. For detailed information about training and certification requirements, see the Mediator Certification Program Guide. Reach out to your MAGCOM or FieldCOM program office and your fellow NDR program managers for additional assistance. Post a question or review the general message board on the DAF Mediator Community MS Teams page where NDR managers share their experiences and recruitment strategies. Last, but not least, don't forget the annual DD2815 data tracking requirement. Contact your MATCHCOM or FieldCOM program office to access your MATCHCOM or FieldCOM data and communication channel. In the Files tab of that channel, you'll find an installation-specific spreadsheet for collecting data with instructions on how to complete the form. To learn more, download this video's companion document. 
Watch the other videos in the NDR Managers series on the NDR Program's YouTube channel. Visit the Training and Education channel of the DAF Mediator Community MS Teams page. And contact your MagCom or FieldCom program office. If you do not know who your MagCom or FieldCom contact is, email saf.gcr.workflow at us.af.mil to request this information.